Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Mayor's Lounge here at the incredible Hideaway Cafe. Uh, with me today is a very special guest, Dr. Gary Mitchum, who is one of the experts on climate change and sea level rise, not only here in St. Petersburg in the state of Florida, but in the entire United States. So we're really glad to have him on board today. And our musical guest is Mercy McCoy. Gary, thank you for being with us today here uh, on the Mayor's Lounge. Um, so I know what you do, and obviously the work that you do is really important. But the people watching this, our viewers may not know. So if you would tell us a little bit about your background, your experience, and what's your area of expertise. I probably shouldn't say this in St. Pete and working at USF, but I started out at Florida State. That's okay. But I made up my, <laughs> I made up my mind and I went to a place called the University of Hawaii Sea Level Center. Hmm. And we're using sea level to study climate change, particularly global scale, sea level rise sort of things, and El Nino. I was the director of the center a couple of years later and was there for 11 years. And then USF called, so I came here in 1996. And I've been working on similar problems, but maybe the new twist is trying more and more to do the translation to working with people like you in the city of St. Pete and also partners all around the state and trying what can we do to actually help plan for and adapt. I'm, I'm gonna throw a softball at you here a little bit. Is our climate changing and do we think human activity has something to do with it? Scientifically, it's an it's a easy question. You know, the increase in greenhouse gases, which people will argue about whether it's human induced or not, that there's good evidence for that. Greenhouse gases are rising, which means the surface temperature of the Earth is increasing. As the surface temperature increases, most of that increase in temperature goes into the oceans. Mm. And warm water it expands, so the sea level rises due to the thermal warming of okay. the ocean. In addition, warmer surface temperature, the ice melts. And if this ice is on land, it means adding water to the ocean. I use an analogy with resiliency and what does that mean? There's three parts of it. There's the assessment, which comes from the sciences, assessing the risk. This is looking down the road and there's a truck coming towards you. And there's adaptation. You know, you have to decide, do you swerve, do you dodge, do you turn around and run? What are your options? And there's mitigation, which is more honestly in the political leadership's um, arena, is what can I do to slow down the truck? Let's talk about the data for a second, because I'm imagining that you have better ways of getting that data, confirming and predicting those changes than, than we had even five years ago. Absolutely. It's been a, this has been the game changer over the past 20 years for measuring sea level. Now we can measure from space. So we, wow. can, we can measure sea level, the sea level increase rate to better than half a millimeter per year. We have been measuring gravity from space. So really? we can weigh the ice sheets. If the ice sheets are losing mass, we can compute how much goes into the ocean. Huh. We've had now for a long time a global series of profiling floats that go up and down measuring the temperature. So we can measure that expansion parameter. If we can slow down, take the foot off the accelerator a bit, we're still going to see changes going into the future, but the end point is not as bad. We can hold down the size of the ultimate effects. <laughs> There seems to be more occurrences of sunny day flooding here in St. Pete. Is there an explanation that you could give for our viewers as to maybe why that happens and, and why most likely we can expect more of that? Yeah, it's pretty simple actually. The high tide, the spring tides, we get extreme spring tides twice a year. Okay. And it's just because of the alignment of the sun and the moon and the earth. The tides, we've always had high tides. They've always been about the same height above the mean sea level surface. The mean sea level surface is rising, so we just simply have the same tide on top of a higher step. Gotcha. Okay? And that sea level is continuing to increase. Let's end on a, on a bright note. What is it that, that encourages you the most? In the 1980s, when I first started working on this problem, we were all talking about it. And then we hit this long hiatus where it became so politicized mm. and so partisan that we can't make any progress if you can't even have a discussion about what you need to do. And I seem to see that breaking up now. That to me is the most promising thing I've seen in ages. Fantastic. 
well. Dr. Mitchum, thank you for being with us today. Thank you for everything you do for this community and for helping us really uh, to do what we've got to do so that we're ready for the future and for this changing climate that uh, hopefully we're going to slow that truck down uh, and then get out of its way. Good, uh, perfect, you got it. For the, for the next little bit at least, we can, we can break from this subject and we get to hear some amazing music from Mercy McCoy. Thank you. and truth flow from me right into you maybe she will maybe she can maybe she don't not pretend these strange dreams in my head strange dreams but don't let them in Strange dreams in my head. 